Hi guys, welcome! Take some time to subscribe and click on the notification bell icon to see our future content as soon as it's uploaded. Give us a like and enjoy the video! Hello Zenbox fans! Welcome to our new video! Today we are going to show you how to install and how to use the control software for the S600 RGB gaming mouse by Zero Day. We unboxed this mouse recently on our channel. You will also be able to see some of the basic features and options of this software. So let's move on to the installation. The software comes on this tiny disk. We couldn't find the software online, so we were stuck using the disk. We copied the software to the PC to make our lives just a little bit easier. To start the installation, just double click on the software.exe file. It will start immediately. Just click next on everything and the installation should finish in a few seconds. Once it's finished, double click on the shortcut that appeared on your desktop after the installation and that should start the software. Here. You can see basic setup tab that allows you to configure every single button on the mouse. When you click on the button you want to reprogram, you get a drop down menu with all bunch of available options to reprogram the button. There are many categories to choose from, like basic left, right and middle button, all the way up to being able to utilize media controls, different kinds of macros and various kinds of shortcuts. Regarding macros, as of yet we haven't made or used any of them. We can also use a number of different configurations, each with their own settings like different levels of precision, DPI settings and button configurations. There are also built-in profiles for multimedia and for gaming. Advanced Setup tab allows you to configure the mouse in a way that suits you the best. There are various degrees of pointer precision. You can slide it left or right to decrease or increase the amount of precision. The wheel speed control is also available. It gives you the option to set its level and how much acceleration the wheel button has. Fire speed control is also here and it's very granular. It can be increased or decreased in increments of 1 millisecond. This tab allows you to make your own profiles, save them or even import or export different settings. There are also several built-in profiles. Here you can see the LED lighting control with a few built-in profiles, each with different DPI settings and LED status. From our experience with this one, only the DPI settings are applied when the profiles are selected. The lighting settings don't change at all. In this section of the video, we are going to show you the lighting effects. You can manually change them with this button on the bottom of the mouse. They range from fast glow or slow glow or waves. There are even different types of breathing effects and many many others. Down in the comments, share, do you use RGB mice and if you do, which ones? If you liked the video, post us a like, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Sandbox out.